Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk is one of the best seaside parks in the world. This California amusement park covers just 24 acres, yet it features nearly three dozen rides. This park is just three roller coasters, but they have a robust non-coaster lineup with several dark rides and some really fun flat rides. So in this video, I'll rank this park's top 15 rides and attractions. Number 15, Cyclone. This roundup pulls some good G's. You're plastered to the walls, the ride rises into the air. While it doesn't go fully vertical, you do have some fun visuals since the rise on an elevated platform underneath the log flume. Number 14, Shockwave. This San Perla disco offers the usually dizzying ride experience with some weak weightlessness on the spikes. However, this one is plus by two things. One is a flashy lighting package that comes alive at night. Two, this rise also on the second level of the boardwalk, so you get a better view looking down the Midway and Beach. Number 13, Logger's Revenge. This arrow log flume mostly takes place high above the ground, and the sight lines of the ocean are fantastic. Then you have just one drop towards the end, but it's a decent one, and you can get absolutely soaked with a full log. Number 12, Undertow. This Mauer spinning coaster features the familiar SC2000 layout. On the bright side, this one offers some good views of the boardwalk. On the downside, this one has several trim brakes that kill the ride's speed and spinning. So while this isn't as intense as the others, it still has its moments, namely the first drop if you go down backwards, and the sideways stall on the horseshoe turn. Number 11, Sky Glider. This sky ride travels the length of the boardwalk, offering incredible views of both the beach and the park's attractions. Not only do you have the sights, but it's an efficient way to get about the park because you don't have to navigate those cramped midways. Number 10, Fireball. The frisbee has a solid cycle. You get several pops of airtime on the max swings while also getting some fun views of the adjacent giant dipper. Other frisbees are more intense, but this is still one of the park's better flat rides. Number 9, Ghost Blasters. This Sally Dark ride is very similar to the Cedar Fair Boo Blasters rides. I wish you had more complex sets and animatronics, but most of the 2D targets you take aim at do work. Number 8, Rocco Plane. This classic Irely flat can be as tame or as wild as you please. I can flip so often on this ride that the seatbelt can cause bruises. If you use the lock, you can stay inverted for seconds at a time, and then you can time the release to get your car flipping faster and more violently. Number 7, Typhoon. This ARM Kamikaze is a hang time machine. You get tons of hang time on every revolution. This one isn't as heavy on the positive G's as other models, but the good cycle and abundance of hang time more than compensates. Plus you have that view of the ocean going over the top. Number 6, Double Shot. This 12 story tall SNS drop tower packs a punch. The launches are pretty tame, but both main ascents offer quick but strong bursts of ejector air time and you also get arguably the best views of the park and beach from atop the tower. It is the tallest ride after all. Number 5, Cave Train Adventure. This quirky dark ride from Aerodynamics is a lengthy ride that takes you past fun and busy sets. The ride has a cartoony feel to it, but you'll need to ride several times to take in everything that the cavemen and cavewomen are doing. There's just that much going on. Number 4, Haunted Castle. This Sally dark ride has some really nice effects. The physical sets are much higher quality than you'd expect for a boardwalk park. And the ride has some clever use of screens and air blasts to catch you off guard as well during the experience. Number 3, Wipeout. This Hus breakdance is enclosed in a building with lights and music. This takes an already dizzying flat ride and makes it next level. If you throw your weight around properly, you can chain a few forceful spins together which will cause you to lose all sense of direction amid the club-like atmosphere. Number 2, Carousel. This classic Loof Carousel is a beauty. It features wood-carved horses, a pristinely maintained band organ, and most importantly, a ring machine. The latter is what really makes the ride special for me. It feels wrong to stand up on any ride nowadays, and then you reach out and grab a ring, but that's exactly what you're allowed to do on this one. This one is a bit harder than the one at Knobles because the outside horses aren't static, they also move up and down like a traditional carousel. And once you get the ring, you get to throw it towards a clown's mouth and successful toss sounds an alarm. 
This extra little task after you get the ring is a really fun way to fill out the ride experience. And coming in, number one is Giant Dipper. This Prior and Church wood coaster is over 100 years old, but it's one of the best wood coasters in the country in my opinion. It's an extremely underrated ride. This ride mixes some shocking airtime with some downright powerful laterals. The turnarounds violently plaster you to the side of the train. Then if you're in the back, many drops will offer some really strong lifter airtime. The ride is a bit of a shuffle to it, but the ride runs much smoother than you expect for a ride of this age. I have an entire review on this coaster, but this ride is the main reason a coaster enthusiast should visit Santa Cruz. So those are the top 15 rides and attractions at Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. What are your favorite rides here? Do you agree Giant Dipper is the best? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.